What's up, everybody? Thank you so much for uh, being a Patreon supporter or a YouTube member. Uh, your all support really helps out a lot. This is just a little behind the scenes video. I've been meaning to do a lot more of these, but it just life has just been crazy. I'm, I'm sure it's been crazy for you too. Uh, but I'm getting ready to shoot the new episode of Tarantula Tuesday. It is six o'clock on a Sunday night, and I still have to go have dinner with my wife and her family over at her mom's house. So I'm probably just going to be setting up the camera and stuff uh, initially and come back later tonight and do the video. Uh, but I am feeding some of my small mantises. Uh, man, yeah, mantises. Um, I'm not using like one of my uh, big cameras. I'm just kind of using this little uh, pocket camera. So I can't really do anything huge as far as like cool macro shots or anything like that. But I uh, just wanted to kind of touch base with you guys and uh, let you know some of the things that are be going going on while I am feeding these these guys. Um, right now, these are just the uh, little ghost mantids. Mantids is not a word. People keep leaving that in my comment section. So mantis is mantis is mantis is I don't even know. But I got these little tiny crickets and um, the way I do it I just kind of feed them well oh, that one's gone I lost that one I just feed them like one cricket kind of hand feed it or tongue feed it to them so I know that they got it and then I will uh, drop one or two more in there for them to find and eat later on but the hardest part is catching these little guys with these tongs makes me feel like uh, Mr. Miyagi but like I was saying I'm gonna try to do this kind of content more often it's just gonna be like exclusive videos uh, just for you guys uh, they're not gonna be oh got it they're not gonna be all that exciting um, but nobody else will see it just you guess so uh, yeah my way of kind of saying thank you let you in on some of the behind the scenes um, now you probably saw in the post I did a few days ago that uh, well I guess while recording this it was just yesterday um, but I bought this thing, I ordered this thing online. It was like a Kickstarter that kind of came up on my Instagram and I was kind of digging it. It was, it's called a Manocaster. It is a uh, all-in-one uh, kind of like podcast studio. So it has like the microphones, the headphones, the amp, the recorder, all the effects and mixer and, and all that kind of stuff, all in one. And I've been wanting to do podcasts for a while. Like it's, I've always, I mean, I've been a big fan of podcasts and um, of all different types. So, I mean, that was definitely something I wanted to get into, and, but it was just the investment and just buying all that stuff, putting it together, especially with everything going on with YouTube and just keeping up with my collection and my family. It just didn't seem like something that would be feasible. But when this came across my feed, I was like, this is it. This is everything that I need and uh, we should do this. Uh, I got a couple of friends uh, back in the town I grew up in that have podcasts and want to be actually They've already invited me to come be on their shows. Um, I got a friend that does like a comic book podcast. Another friend that does, uh, it's called um, Talking to Strangers or something like that, where he just finds random people online and we'll do a podcast with them. It's kind of interesting. And though we're not strangers, we haven't seen each other in many years. <laughs> like we grew up in the same town and haven't talked really since. So I think we're going we're gonna to do that, which will be interesting. But what I want to do with my podcast is a little different. Uh, than what some other people in the tarantula community are doing with podcasts, uh, at least the few that I've listened to. Um, you know, I want to talk to, uh, like, kind of do, like, interview-style stuff. Not so much, I mean, I'm sure I'll be just doing ranting and things like that uh, and having long discussions. But I want to, like, interview people, talk to people, like, uh, hopefully get somebody from US Arc and talk to some scientists and research, people, like, in the research uh, areas or, and some people, like, you know, I don't know, I, there's a bunch of different people. I don't even, I could have a list of people that I want to contact and interview and um, get on the podcast. Uh, it, and who knows how long it's going to be, maybe 30 minutes, maybe an hour, maybe two hours. I, I don't know. Uh, just depends on how the conversation goes. But I've also talked to some people that are breeders, uh, people that own businesses that sell tarantulas and, and scorpions and just kind of get some insight as to like what goes on in that background. Like, you know, uh, as far as like the retail and breeding side and, uh, imports and you know a lot of information that is not really out there just because nobody's really talking about it or asking um, you just you learn along the way and some people never learn so I thought it might be interesting just to kind of get into that but who knows we'll see how it goes um, but hopefully it'll be fun and I'm just getting messages from my stepdaughter she uh, she was not feeling well today I had to go to urgent care and they gave her a COVID test and all that fun stuff so 
Hopefully that comes back all right. Oh, let me see if I can catch another little cricket here. Now this guy is like way up at the top. And I got this plant kind of hanging in there. It's not sticking. Yeah, let's see if we can get him to eat. Can you all see him? No, not really at all. Let me if I can get the right light. There we go. We'll see. Do you want it? Oh, he's not hungry. Yeah, sometimes they won't eat. All right, so he's not going to eat. That's okay. We'll just drop it in its enclosure. All the other ones ate. Whoa. But yeah, so that's, that's all. Um, just feeding these guys. I've got to also unbox, not unbox, I need to move all of the baby scorpions out from the little temporary enclosure I set up with their mom. Both my Arizona bark and my Florida bark scorpion had broods at the same time. So uh, I'm going to be doing that. And a lot of that footage I'm going to shoot, I'm going to be using for uh, videos coming in the next few weeks, uh, which is going to be like a care video on the Arizona bark. No, I'm sorry, on the Florida bark scorpion. And um, just, so I'm going to have to do shoot that tonight just because I need to get them in their own little enclosures and then do the rest of the video later on. What else is going on I can tell you about? Um, I got this cool box in the mail from uh, ZooMed Laboratories. They sent me, um, it's the, oh man, what happened to my camera? Let's get that focus back on. It's the uh, ZooMed Cavern Kit because I was uh, I was talking to one of the guys from ZooMed on Instagram or email or something like that. And it was I've got this uh, Desert Hairy Scorpion. Uh, if you're not familiar with that species, they like to burrow a lot. And they really need it dry because if it's got really any moisture at all, they could create this fungal infection. And um, kind of like what happened to my uh, Death Stalker Scorpion, it's, it's not a good deal. So I've been... Trying to, I've been keeping him dry. Uh, he's on, or she, actually I don't even know. But <laughs> she's on this um, uh, mixture of mostly sand with a little bit of peat moss in it. Uh, the issue that I'm having is that they like to burrow, and it's been digging these big tunnels and putting all the sand out, and it just kind of keeps falling on its, uh, uh, you know, every time I will dig something out, the sand will kind of feed back in and feel bad for it. So they, I was telling them about that and that I really want to try this cavern kit. So he sent one out there to me. Uh, it's got some other stuff that I need, pretty much just to set up the entire enclosure. So I'm going to be doing that. It's going to take a while for it to dry and everything. Um, oh, my dog's trying to steal a dog treat. Daisy, you want a treat? Come here, we'll get you one. I got these for you. Yeah, come here. You don't got to sneak. Come here, we'll say hi. Come here. Come on, get up here. Where are you? They want to see your face. Where are you at, puppy? There you are. There you go. All right. <laughs> My fat dog. So I'm going to be setting that up. That'll be next week's video. We'll be doing um, uh, pretty much desert hairy scorpion care and husbandry and setting up that enclosure. So hopefully you'll enjoy that. And um, hey, that's enough. You just get one. How did you already eat that? It was like a dentabone. It's supposed to last a minute. She just swallowed it. That's why and she's a fat dog, and we exercise her and cut back on her food and everything, and she just finds stuff to eat. She's a little pug pig. Um, but anyways, I don't even know how long this is getting. It's saying 15 minutes, so that's probably plenty long enough. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, let me know in the comments. Like, You don't have to worry about like liking and subscribing. You guys are already Patreon members. I, I'm sure you already subscribed, hopefully. Um, and nobody else is going to see this video, so it doesn't matter. Um, but I'll be doing more of these little short videos. If you hate them, let me know. If, if you enjoy them, tell me about that too. Uh, but thank you guys for all your support. I need to finish uh, feeding who I can before I got to go to dinner and, um, and then start rehoming some of these scorpions and feed everybody. And then wait, once it's dark outside, I'm going to shoot the video. Yeah, you want to come here? Come on. Yeah, all right. Well, you guys uh, have a great day. I will see you in a couple days for Tarantula Tuesday. All right. Thanks.